In this video tutorial, we look at how to configure HTTP strict transport security on your big IPFI appliance. In a typical environment, you will have a web server where your website is hosted and it is running on HTTP protocol. Your SSL is terminated on your big IPFI appliance. In such a setup, you will have two virtual servers. One is running on HTTP port 80 and another is running on HTTPS port 443. There could be potentially two problems in such an environment. One is the initial request from the client browser are sent over HTTP in clear text format. And we may not know that we are, our developers might have added more HTTP requests inside the application, could be even in sensitive pages. The second potential problem is possible chances for MITM attack, man in the middle attack. To overcome these problems, we got HTTP strict transport security it's basically a response header that we set on the client browser. Once we set this setting on the client browser, the browser will prevent any communications for that particular domain for being sent over HTTP. Instead, redirect all the communications for that particular domain over HTTPS. So there are two options to handle it in Big IP. Basically, there are two options to configure HSTS on Big IP FI appliance. One is using Arrow. Another option is using HTTP profile. In iRule itself, there are a couple of ways to configure it. Either you set the expiry date for that particular header, a more meaningful format as one day, or else you can directly specify in seconds as in this way. So let's go back to big IP FI appliance and see how to configure it. Go to iRule and we got our big IP FI appliance pre configured with HSTS iRule. You see, could see that the expiry date is set as one day, and you could also see something called include subdomain, which means that all the HTTP requests for that particular subdomain will also be converted into HTTPS. Once you configure the iRule, go to virtual server. Go to HTTPS profile, not the HTTP profile. Go to resources. In the I rule, add the HSTS I rule that you recently configured. Once you set this, there is a way to check it using a curl command on Big IPFI appliance. SSH to Big IPFI appliance. Using this command, you could verify that strict transfer security header is set as per our configuration. There is also an alternate option available in FI to configure using HTTP profile, which is very simple. You need to identify the HTTP profile that is configured on your HTTPS, HTTPS virtual server. See here, here it is called weblogic underscore HTTP underscore profile. So you need to navigate to that particular profile. So at the bottom you will see that from um, version 12 of uh, FI appliance onwards this option is available. If you are using a previous version you may not be able to see this option unfortunately and uh, just enable these options and enable here. By default FI appliance uh, sets these seconds when you convert these in two days it comes around uh, six months. So preload is an option. If you go to an OWASP uh, website, you could see that uh, preload is an option where you could tell the browser that always uh, trans convert all the HTTP requests for this domain to HTTPS. So you need to add this here at the header and also you need to add your domain in this list. Once you do that, Chrome, Firefox, Safari all share the same list. So they can uh, trans convert all the HTTP requests for your domain to HTTPS. That's it. Uh, thank you for watching our video. Have a good day.